Hey everyone, it's Warriors NRL Fanatics here. Hope you're all doing well and having a great week. Just quickly, before getting into this video, if you haven't done so already and you are a new viewer to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really does help and it shows your support for the videos that I do and it's all really much appreciated as well and it's absolutely free. Doesn't cost anything at all and uh, yeah, I'd like to thank those who have recently recently subscribed to the channel and also make sure you like this video as well click the thumbs up on the video and click the bell so you are notified when i upload next or when i go live on the channel but we'll get into the video now and this is actually going to be the player ratings for the pre-season trial between the one new zealand warriors and the west tigers which was played at mount smart stadium in auckland new zealand last night and the scoreline red warriors winning the game 48 points to 12 in the first preseason hit out so what i'm gonna do is i've done a lot of these videos last year i did quite a few player ratings videos but i decided that i will be bringing them back throughout the season regards to any game particularly even if it's a trial or even if it's just a normal nrl warriors regular season game so i'll be doing them throughout the year so what i do i'll give you guys an example of what i do so i go through every player from the starting side to the bench and then I give a rating out of 10 and then I give my opinion on each play and why I give them that rating. So we'll start off with the fullback now and that was Tane Tuapiki to what who I thought played I thought he played pretty well actually. I thought he was good in his first outing. Now I've got huge raps on Tane Tuapiki coming through the Queensland Cup, played for the Burley Bears last couple of years and especially last year where he he won the uh, play of the year for the Burley Bears now it's always going to be a tough ask for him to get into the first grade side this year but I thought in this game he he was outstanding actually stood out and did some great work and I'll go through his stats just quickly so he had 12 all runs for 105 all running meters 29 post contact meters and four tackle breaks for seven tackles and he had one error. So for me, I thought for his first outing in the Warriors colours, especially in this trial game, I am going to give Tane to a peaky here a 7 out of 10. Now into the centres now. Mas uh, into the, not into the centres, sorry. Uh, the winger first, and that is Marcelo Montoya. Then we'll get into the centres. So Marcelo Montoya for me was incredible. He was outstanding now his stats read three tries so he had a hat trick of tries for 12 all runs 161 all running meters and 20 post contact meters for seven tackle breaks four line breaks and he only had one error so for me Marcelo Montoya it gets a eight out of ten in this game now to the centers now so you got Braden Braden Williami now Braden Williami had three try assists for 11 all runs 97 all running meters 22 post contact meters and four line break assists for 11 tackles and no errors so look I think for Braden Williami for his debut in Warriors colors in this preseason trial, I thought, I thought he was really solid. Actually, I liked what he did. I liked what he brought to the team, especially. Now, I'm going to give him here a 6.5 out of 10. Now, onto the other centre now, and that is Viliami Valia. Now, he had two tries, eight all runs for 148 all running meters, 18 post contact meters, three tackle breaks, and 10 tackles there. Yeah, so. Viliami Valia, I thought was out, outstanding actually in this game. And I am going to give Viliami Valia a 7 out of 10. Now to the other winger, and that was Edward Cozy. Now Edward Cozy, he had uh, a pretty mixed start to the game. He made some errors early on, but he was very good, especially uh, bringing the, the, the team you know, away from our own end, you know, just with his strong runs, especially for me, I will look at his stats now, so one hit up, he had 11 all runs, 96 all run meters, uh, 22 post contact meters for three, t 
tackle breaks there, and he had and he had two errors there. So yeah, look, I am going to give Edward Cozy here a six point five out of ten. Now to the halves now, and this was the big focus point for me going into this game to see how the two debutants, Luke Medcalf and Tamare Martin, do in their first outing in Warriors colours. Now, Luke Medcalf was incredible. He was he was on another level in this game. He sent out the statement to the selectors that he wanted to be selected for round one against the Newcastle Knights. And yes, I know people are going to say it's only the West Tigers. The West Tigers didn't have a lot of the NRL players. and But you could say the same about the Warriors. You know, the Warriors didn't play a lot of their first graders as well. We had a lot of young players, especially in this game. So, look, I mean, Luke Metcalf can only play what's in front of him. So, look, his stats here. One try, uh, one try sorry. Now, 17 all runs, 150 all run metres, 15 post contact metres, Four tackle breaks, one line break, 17 tackles there, and he kicked nine times for 310 kicking metres. So, boy, he, he kicked the ball quite a lot in this game, and, look, I thought he combined very well with Tamare Martin, especially. So, look, I think for me, I'm going to give Luke Metcalf here a 9 out of 10. Personally, from, from my point of view, I would say he was the man of match in this preseason trial game against the Tigers. And look, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week when Sean Johnson comes into the starting lineup and uh, whether Luke Metcalf gets another game or he's going to be on the bench. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens with Luke Metcalf next. And for me, I think if you judge it off one game, I know it's only one trial game, but if you judge it off that game, I think for me, he's put up his hand for selection in the 1-17 to side. So, look, Luke Metcalf was, was just outstanding. Now to Tamari Martin now. So, Tamari Martin, he had one try assist for nine all runs, 65 all run metres, eight post contact metres, one tackle break, and he had one line break assist. For 15 tackles there. So I want Tomate Martin especially was very good. And I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Now to the prop now. And that is Bunty Afar who was our captain for this preseason trial match. And he had 6 hit ups for 12 all runs. 106 all run metres. 28 post contact metres. 1 tackle break. And 26 tackles. Great. Uh, worked defensively there for Bunty Afoa, and he really led the team across the field there for me. So I'm going to give Bunty Afoa a 7 out of 10. Now to the hooker and Freddie Lussick. Freddie Lussick had three all runs for 38 all running metres, 13 post contact metres, and he made 32 tackles there, and he had... Yeah, that's all the stats there. So... Look, for me, Freddie Lussick, I, I thought he was he was alright. I mean, I'll, I'll probably give him a, a, a 6 out of 10. Now to Tom Arley. Tom Arley, boy, was was another standout in the forwards for me, especially in this game. He he just, you know, he, he, he really put on a bit of work out there on the field. And he had his stats here to read. Sorry, his stats are to read here. 15 all hit-ups, uh, 19 all runs, 180 post-contact metres, 42 post-contact metres, 6 tackle breaks, 1 offload, and he made 22 tackles. Tom Arley, I'm going to give him a 8 out of 10. Now to the second row now. So you got Jackson Ford, who is an off-season sign there for the Dragons, played his first game in Warriors Colours also. And his stats read 5 hit-ups for 6 all-runs, 60 all-run metres, 17 post-contact metres, 5 five tackle breaks. Plenty of tackle breaks there. So he definitely made a difference with the ball. 1 line break and 22 tackles. Especially good work there in the fence by Jackson Ford. Now, I'm going to give Jackson Ford here a 6.5 out of 10. I thought he was very solid in the second row for us. Now to the other player in the second row, who who a lot of people probably have never seen before play first grade, especially myself and a young player in the forwards, 
big fella actually, and that is Demetric uh, Sofuku Sof Sofuka. So I'll say it again. My apologies. I'll pronounce this. Try my best here. So it's Demetric Sofukula. Sofuku Sofukula. Uh, apologies if I butchered that there. Uh, so nine hit ups. He had for 10 all runs, 107 all running meters, and uh, 36 post contact meters for free tackle breaks. 25 tackles, very good defensively there. And uh, he had only one error. So, look, I am going to give him a 7 out of 10. I, I thought he was really good in that second row. And now to the 13, now the lock, and that is Michael Seo. Now, he had one all run. For 11 hit-ups, 11 all running, 11, no, sorry, 1 try assist, uh, 11 all hit-ups for 11 all runs, and 105 all running meters for 21 post-contact meters, 1 tackle break, and 1 line of break assist for 21 tackles. So I'm going to give Michael Co here a 7 out of 10. Now to the bench and, and the rest of the players. So we've got Mo, uh, Zion Ma'u. Zion Ma'u. So Zion Ma'u, I thought, coming off the bench, especially adding a lot of impact as Tom Arley came off for, for a rest, I, I thought Zion Ma'u added plenty. He's a big fella, actually, Zion Ma'u. Very big unit. Uh, very tall, strong. And look, I think his, his 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 impact, especially coming off the bench, was great. So, look for me, if you're reading his stats here, seven hit ups for seven all runs, seventy one all run meters, twenty four post contact meters for two tackle breaks, and twenty two tackles there. So, Zion Mau, I thought was great. I am going to give Zion Mau a seven out of ten. Uh, the next player off the bench, coming off the coming off uh, coming onto the field, sorry, is Sanel. Aku Sintano. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, five uh, post contact meters, 31 all run meters, three all runs for two head ups, and two tackle breaks for six tackles there. So, I'm going to give him a six out of ten for Sanal. Sanal? Uh, Sanal Aku Sis. Uh, uh, apologies for butchering the name. Um, the next player is Ale Ale La Tua. Now he had. Uh, give me a sec, guys. Sorry for the long stop. Uh, so two head ups, two all runs, twenty nine all running meters, uh, fifteen post contact meters, and two tackle breaks there. So I would say he was pretty good actually. I'm going to give him a six out of ten. Jacob Laban, now boy, he, he's a very tall fella and, and a big unit also coming off the bench. Now, he played well, actually. Nine head-ups for 10 all-runs, 98 all-running meters, 35 post-contact meters, and three tackle breaks there. So, Jacob Laban, great performance off the bench, and I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Uh, Moala Graham Tafua. Now, he scored a try, actually, in this one. One try. One hit up for two all runs. 24 uh, all run meters. Seven post contact meters. And one tackle break for one line break assist. And he made two tackles. So, Graham Moa, uh, Moala Graham to four. I'm going to give him a 6.5 out of 10. Um, okay, next one. So, Ka Kala Kalani going. Again, I do apologize for mispronouncing the names. I'm trying my best, guys. It's probably not my best work there, but, yeah, apologies for pronunciation of players' names here. So, six head up, six all runs, 66 all running meters for 26 post-contact meters. I'll give him a six, six out of ten. Uh, Eden Acklin. Now, Eden Acklin is actually the son of former under-20s Warriors coach John Acklin. And, uh, yeah, he's actually back at the Warriors. So, uh, I believe he was originally at the Manly Seagulls, but he returned back to New Zealand here. So, it's good to see him back in New Zealand. Um, a very young player. He had actually one try assist. 
So come off the bench, one try assist, not bad. Three all runs, 12 all running meters, and he had one line break assist. So oh, I thought he was pretty good coming off the bench as well. I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Uh, ben Farr. So he had uh, three head ups for three all runs, 36 all running meters, and 24 post contact meters for two tackle breaks there. So look, for Ben Farr, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Isaiah Vangana, four head ups, four all runs, 42 all running meters, 22 post contact meters, and one tackle break. I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 for me. Uh, so Solomon Vasuvalangi. Uh, Vas Valangi, so six uh, all runs, four head ups, 60 all running meters, 12 post contact meters for three tackle breaks, and one line break with 13 tackles there for Solomon Vas Valangi. I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a solid 6.5 out of 10. And Paul Roach, so that's the brother of Nathaniel Roach. So that's three all runs, 12 all running meters, and I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. So that is it. That is my player ratings and my thoughts on each individual player and how they went in this preseason trial. The one using the Warriors took on the West Tigers there. And uh, look, I mean, let me know what your thoughts are on each of the individual players. Uh, performances down in the comments below and do you agree or do you disagree with my player ratings let me know in the youtube comment section down below and yeah if you are a new viewer to this channel and you haven't done so already and i highly recommend you do and it's much appreciated it really does show your support for the videos that i do make sure you subscribe to the channel click that red subscribe button down below and also when you watch these videos, don't forget to like the video. Make sure you click the thumbs up on the video. Click that thumbs up down below and click the bell so you are notified when I upload a video next or when I go live. But thanks everyone for watching this video and have a great rest of the week and I'll see you all soon.